Hey guys, what's up? Barrett here today with my Epiphone Les Paul Standard. I got this thing a long time ago for one of my birthdays. I uh, don't remember which one. That's the stupid input thing making a bunch of noise, but there's the headstocks, Epiphone, Les Paul. What I love about it is it has the Gibson piece here instead of, uh, you know, standard or whatever. Because it's an older Epiphone. It's got the mother of pearl inlays. I got this from eBay a long time ago, man. Uh, years ago. It's really nice. Uh, I've kept it in really good condition for as long as I've had it. It's a really nice top. Uh, it's not the plus top, but it's still a really nice one. Mm -hmm. This guitar is no Gibson, that's for sure, but, uh, you know, it's still a really nice. You have to be careful with this guitar, it's very powerful. Um, you know, it it's uh I mean that's nice, that's really nice, you know. And that's that's on clean. got some really nice um, like pretty top chords tone I mean it's a little bit on the dull side it's not um, it's not bright obviously it's a very dark sounding guitar it has a lot of mids to it um, you can't go heavy on the bass like if you're doing finger picking and you try to do lots of bass, the bass will absolutely take over the entire sound of everything else. So that's something you have to be careful about when you're playing this guitar. You have to play the bass notes very gently so that you have a nice balance. With that being said, it's got some really nice highs. You know, some of the frets do uh, buzz. I haven't found one yet on this video, but I assure you they do. Let's play something. I bet this will sound good on this guitar. copyright strikes. <laughs> you know, there's a trick on that. You just play the chords. That's what I was looking for. I don't know. Something I was messing with earlier was uh, 
this kind of came to me. It was kind of cool. just beautiful. I mean, listen to that D and that G. Yeah. C's okay. A minor's nice. how much the bass kind of takes over especially when you record it's very bassy very bassy but it just depends on what you're using it for um you know you can get some nice i mean obviously it's good for jazz it's good for rock but yeah you guys can tell i didn't really have anything planned you know I'll see you on the next one.